In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send big files via email without using Google Drive. So when you've got large files and you try and upload them to Gmail, it's going to tell you that you need to send them with Google Drive. But I'm going to show you how you can send them without using Google Drive. So the alternative, for whatever reason, if you don't want to use Google Drive, that I've found is actually a service called WeTransfer. Now WeTransfer is a very simple and easy to use file transfer website. So what you can do is you can go ahead and add your files. So I'm gonna add the same file that I tried to add earlier to Gmail. So earlier I tried to send this YouTube video here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and add that file. We can then add an email. So we can email this file to someone. So I'm going to just email it to myself for the sake of the video and I can then enter in my email, so I'll enter in an alternative email here. It also wants me to enter in my email, so I'm going to enter in my alternative email. After I've done that, I can also send a message. So I'm just gonna send here file transfer, but you can put important information about that file here. And then you can simply click here where it says transfer. Then what's gonna happen, we just need to verify our email real quick. So I'm gonna verify my email. So let's enter in the code and click verify. Now you can see this file will be transferring via email. So I'll just be back once this reaches 100% here. So here we go, we're all done. You can see the email is being sent and the transfer will then be available for seven days. I've just got the notification on my phone if you heard that. So I'm gonna go back to my email and we'll see if the file's there. So here we are in my email. You can see Bradley Harrison Enterprises has sent you a file via WeTransfer and you can just simply click or the person you're sending to will click get your files and they can then simply download them files. Now this is a great way to send files which are too large for Gmail. I hope that video did help you out. Make sure you do leave a like and comment down below.